Oh, this is your boy, Neil Aubrey Tiller, aka Master Aubrey, back with another road video. Back at it with you brothers and sisters. And today's topic is the Word of God, the Sword of the Spirit. I'm going to repeat the title if y'all missed me the first time. I said the title of this video is the Sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. And we're going to talk about it for a little bit. Because the Spirit wants me to do a video. And I agree to it. I want you brothers and sisters to understand what's really going on in this world right now. There's a lot of spiritual warfare that's going on behind the scenes in the homes of many people who may be listening to this right now. Generational curses, um, the, the movements of the transgender movement, feminism, all this stuff is spiritual warfare. And this is not an attack on anybody, but this is to inform people how to do spiritual warfare because my channel is about spiritual warfare and that's what I teach. Now, people understand and probably read in the scriptures, they talk about the scriptures where they talk about the word of God being like a double-edged sword, sharper than any double-edged sword. Now, I can speak from personal experience in the spirit world. When I astral travel, when I activated the sword of the spirit, I saw a sharp dagger. And I remember seeing this same picture in the physical when I was typing up the word of God. I seen like a picture on Google where it showed like a sharp dagger, like a sharp knife, double-edged sword. And that's what you start off with, with your faith. I need you guys, need to, I need you guys and ladies to understand that. Your faith is the size of a dagger. Your, your, your word of God is sharp like that. But you could, you could sharpen that tool and you can make it bigger by your faith in God. Your walk with God makes the weapon bigger. Your walk with God intensifies and, and, and destroys anything that is not of God. That is your weapon. And I don't think a lot of people know how to use that word of God. Because they're looking at it as a book. But on the spiritual level, it is a sword. It is a weapon. It is a spiritual weapon that you use in spiritual combat against the enemy, against principalities, rulers of darkness, negative unclean spirits, false doctrines, false heresies. Now, we could get into the debate of the Bible being written by men, or we could get into the debate if these things were inspired by the Holy Spirit and was given to men and they wrote it in scriptures. Now. I'm not a person that's really into debating. I'm a person about actual experience. And I will never talk about anything I have never experienced. If I have no experience, I have no knowledge of it, I won't speak upon it. Everything I've been talking on my channel throughout my videos is things and testimonials and things I've experienced. And you guys and ladies could check that out for yourself and be the judge of that. My job is to save souls. My job is to bring them over to the kingdom of God and allow them to understand and have their own experience of the kingdom of God. Because a lot of times people are reading Bibles, people are reading the Bible without the Holy Spirit. A lot of people are reading the scriptures without proper guidance. A lot of people are dealing with occult activities, spiritual things without the proper protection. And I'm not talking about crystals and unks. I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. And see, because I came from that walk of life. I've come from that walk of dealing with the occult. Dealing with magic. Dealing with astral traveling and all that. To just dealing with God and being in His Word. That when I truly have a true spiritual experience, I could cut through the illusion with the Word of God. I could line it up with the Scriptures. Now, I know the, the scriptures, you have 66 books and then you have a, a couple other books that are missing. But they all line up to what is going on. And even though those stories might be repetitive, I could get to the meat of the word because the Holy Spirit is guiding me. I could truly experience what the scriptures is saying because I'm living it out in my life. I could apply verses from the scriptures into my life. I could apply that into the spiritual world when I'm sleeping at night and having a lucid dream or out of body experience. And I'm truly invigorated with the word when God said, 
Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of his mouth. And knowing that his word is food for the soul. It is life because his spirit is life. And when he gives you the Holy Spirit, he gives you life. Because he is the fountain of life. See, these are metaphorical, allegorical symbolism and parables. But people take it literally because they're going from their carnal mind. They're not searching deep within. They're not going within because there's nothing within. If they don't accept the Holy Spirit in their life, if they don't accept Christ in their life, they don't have the gift of the Holy Spirit. They just have a soul, but it's, it's malnourished. It's spiritually dead. You're just in animation. You're in a suspense mode. That's where we got the concept of walking dead. Anytime you see zombie movies, it's symbolic of people who may have a, a certain type of life, but not, they don't have true spiritual life. They don't have the life of the Holy Spirit. They just have a soul and it's an automation. They're dictated by the society. They're dictated by the desires. They're slaves to the flesh, the body. Because the soul is attached to the body. The body can't exist. The body will die without the soul. So people have souls. But people, not everybody has a spirit. See, a lot of times people tell you in the conscious community, in other communities like New Age community, uh, oh, you don't got a soul. Niggas be like, oh, you don't got a soul. Yo, you got spirits. No, you don't. You have souls. Because a soul is mind, will, and emotions. Those are your free, that's part of your free will and ability to choose and your ability to feel and ability to think. Now, what's controlling that soul is a spirit. The spirit is on the inside of the soul. Now, if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you will never be able to discern the Bible. You will never be interested in the Bible. There's so much people that look at the Bible and are not interested in it. You know, there's people that read the Bible and they're so repulsed by it. It's because they don't have the Holy Spirit. Because if they had the Holy Spirit, it would be food for their soul. People want to be fed fast food spiritual information. So they're adopting other spirits inside of their souls. Unclean counterfeit spirits dwell on the inside of your soul. How do I know this to be true from my own experience? I've did self-deliverance on myself. In the spiritual world where I cast the demons out of my soul. Seeing a black fall come out of my own mouth. Like shit that you see in them goddamn scary movies like exorcist. When they cast in a, in a, in a, cast in a demon out or exercising a demon out of a person. And it comes out like a black fog. That's an unclean spirit. That's what Jesus Christ was doing when he was doing his ministry when he was on the earth. Casting spirits out of people because in their souls those unclean spirits dwell there because once a spirit has possession of a person's mind, will, and emotions, they possess the soul. And this battle is about your soul. Brothers and sisters, this battle that you're fighting, you're the soul. You're the prize that they're fighting for. God is want God wants your soul. He doesn't want, He doesn't want. Your belongings, because you can't take it with you. Your spirit is with God. Your spirit is a part of God. But your soul is connected to the body and it's being fed all these illusions in this world. The desires of the flesh, lust of the flesh, lust of the eye, and the pride of life, the five sensations. You are a slave. But the word of God will set you free. How the word of God set you free? It's a sword. It's a spiritual weapon. So when you use the word of God, it's not just food for the soul, but it is a weapon that you use against the enemy. For you do not fight against flesh and blood, but you fight against principalities, rulers, darkness. You guys are like the spiritually blind leading the blind because you don't have the spirit. And they say that the spirit of man is the lamp of the Lord. Think about that. So your spirit is light. That's how a person is enlightened. They said to be born again, you must be born of the water and the spirit because flesh gave birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. So when you accept the Holy Spirit in your life, it starts your rebirthing process into the spiritual world. I know a lot of people get into the esoterics where they do spiritual alchemy. 
which is called spiritual rebirthing, turning lead to gold. But Christ is the ultimate alchemist because he's turning your desires of the flesh into spiritual gold, which is life of the spirit. He said to walk in the spirit so you do not desire, so you do not walk and satisfy the desires of the flesh. But you guys are trying to do self-works, which is works of the flesh. You're not relying on the faith of God. You're not relying on the assistance of God. You're not relying on his grace and power. You're relying on yourself and you're nothing without God. You feel what I'm saying? You're spiritually dead without God. I know a lot of people may not agree with that video. You could try to do the alchemy. I've done alchemy. I could talk about Taoism, the Connolly practices, the fire and water. That's their form of the spiritual baptism of being reborn again. Because it talks about the true yin and the true yang. Well, the water and the fire. The water and the word. The word is the water and the Holy Spirit is the fire. To be washed when you go back, get baptized, you're being washed away. Your sins are being washed away. That's the water. Now when your sins are washed away, the fire is the Holy Spirit could impart upon you. When the, sport, when the Holy Spirit seals itself inside of you, it starts the rebirthing process. So you'll be able to be born again, that you'll be a child of God. That is not of your own doing. This is something that you are experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis as a born-again believer, a person that's accepted God in his life or her life. And every time that you are fighting spiritual warfare, you are growing in the word. Every time that you read the word, you're growing in the spirit. This is part of the pregnancy, the spiritual pregnancy. And then when you birth it, your spiritual self, you will get a vision about it. I have gotten visions where I went through a spiritual rebirth. In the cosmos, I went through true spiritual rebirth. That's how I'm able to activate the body of Christ, activate the garments of Christ, the, the, the armor of Christ. All these different things are gifts of the Holy Spirit when you accept Jesus Christ. You have to activate these things. Yes, he is giving you his spirit, but you, you have to be like an like a, like a investigator. Just like how you was an investigator studying all this spiritual shit, you must be an investigator of the word. First seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added on to you. So when God gives you a gift, he's giving you the opportunity to investigate the gift, to study the gift, to practice the gift, to unlock the gift and tap in. Bring you back to a specific story where, the, where um, the, Jesus was talking about a parable about how the servants bury their gifts. And when he came back, he was able to get 10 times more the gifts that they had when they buried their gifts. And one guy, he, he didn't bury his gift. And he went to hell because he didn't use his gift. So when you get the Holy Spirit and you don't use the gifts of the Holy Spirit and apply it to your life, then you lose it. You feel what I'm saying? So what I teach on my channel is that if you accept God, I'm telling you for more personal testimonials on how to go about activating the gifts and have a true, legitimate spiritual experience. And with the Word of God, don't just don't look at it as a Bible. This is the weapon that you use against spirits in the spiritual realm. It has worked. Trust and believe. I have documentation in my videos to show you how to fight in the spirit world world. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Trolls will be blocked and deleted. If you guys and ladies are interested in leaving me a donation,